Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. Today I've got some empties for you. I love a good empties video. I love filming them because I usually let this pile for about two months and so I forget some of the things that are in there and I also love watching them because I get some good reviews and I get some good recommendations from empties videos because when you finish a whole thing up, you know if it's good or bad. So I always like to start with makeup. I have actually a nice little pile going today. So let's go ahead and dive in there and then we'll move into other categories of products. So first things first, e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, this is kind of the blue color. I'm sure you've seen you know, this in thumbnails or featured in other videos. To be honest, not my fave. It did okay, um, but I have oily skin and it just, it didn't do anything for me for oil control. It definitely gripped my makeup and held it on, but it still slipped and slid around. It, it didn't do anything for oil control. And I don't know that it's meant to, to be fair, but um, wouldn't repurchase, just didn't work for my skin type. So moved on from that one. Um, I also have a powder foundation here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, TikTok famous, of course. Um, I really like this though. I think this is my first one. I have another one going right now, or maybe this is my second one. Um, I did have the packaging break, so the like lid came off, but I could still kind of pop it on, which was nice. I have the shade 120 Vanilla. Um, as my winter shade. I'm sure that'll fluctuate, you know, as we go into the summer months, but I did finish this all the way up. This was in my project pan. I do do project pans on my channel if you are new here and if you like project panning. Um, I use a flat top kabuki brush to apply this and I feel like it works really, really well. Um, and this is kind of like my go-to everyday foundation um, because it's so lightweight. It's, it's a powder foundation so you can choose how much, you know, I want to buff it into a certain area or if it's just a little kind of sweep, but I use this most days. Um, I work from home, so when I'm on Zoom and things like that, it helps with, you know, just kind of covering up some general redness and evening the skin tone, but it doesn't feel really heavy, which I really, really enjoy. Next is a Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. This is the natural finish. I believe that there are different finishes. I haven't tried anything but this one. Um, I like this one. I would repurchase. I repurchased the Makeup Revolution Matte Setting Spray this time just to switch it up a little bit. Um, but I, you know, I would re I would consider buying this again. I would also consider maybe if they had a matte version, just because I am oily, checking that out. But um, I do like a setting spray. I use it, you know, all over my face. But I also use um, a spritz on the back of my hand and I wet a liner brush and then I pick up eyeshadow and use it to create my own kind of like liquid liner. And I I don't know, maybe it's a placebo effect, but I kind of feel like because I use a setting spray that helps keep your makeup on longer. It helps keep the eyeliner on longer than if I just use water. I can't prove that, but it's what I tell myself. So yes, love a setting spray. Uh, my favorite mascara, also would totally recommend, uh, CoverGirl Exhibitionist. So good. This has been my go-to mascara for probably over a year now. Once I find a mascara I like, I just go for it. Um, so I, I like the natural um, kind of bristle wand. I get the blackest black or whatever, you know, darkest color they have. I prefer a very kind of volumized lash. I wear glasses, so I prefer volumized lashes instead of long lashes because when I use lengthening mascaras, it like smudges on the inside of my lenses, which is really annoying uh, for me anyway because then all of a sudden you have these black streaks. So I like a volumized lash. This is my favorite mascara. I switch them every three months, so it's just easy for me to remember quarterly to switch this out. But um, yeah, this is what I go for. I keep repurchasing it. I am a big fan, so easy there. And I finished up a lipstick, which I feel like I haven't done for a very long time. Um, this is from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. This is fantastic. If you are looking for a kind of tinted, um, kind of glossy lipstick, this this is a good option. It's from the drugstore. This is a shade Happy. It's just a My Lips But Better. But you can see there's like a um, hydrating core there in the shape of a heart and it just was really nice. I, this is my favorite lip product to use in the winter because sometimes I like a gloss too, don't get me wrong, but um, it's just so easy to apply as my lips but better so I could like kind of 
put it on a lot if my lips are feeling dry and not have to worry about ooh, the color being wonky. So I have repurchased this and then I purchased another color as well. But I know that there's a lot of options like this available right now at the drugstore and high end and all that. But I felt like for a while it was really hard to find a glossy kind of lipstick. But this is one that I like. And I, I definitely do want to try some other brands. But I have repurchased that one, The Happy. And then I purchased a pink one, but I can't remember the name of it right now. So ultimately, I would recommend all of the makeup products except for the primer. But that's just because of my skin. So if you don't have oily skin, you may like this. But I did not. Um, let's move into skincare next. I actually have things like categorized today. So the first thing is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. This is a eye serum. And again, because I have oily skin, I get a little, I, I wouldn't say like sensitive, but emotionally sensitive towards the types of products I use and when I use them. So I like to have something that helps moisturize my eyes during the day and in the morning, but I don't want to cream because it feels too heavy for me. So I've really enjoyed the serum and one bottle lasts me pretty much a whole year. Um, it's with a dropper. So I take two drops on my finger, kind of smush it together and then apply to my eyes and, um, go on my way. So I really like this. Definitely would recommend. I think this is, I don't know, third or fourth bottle I've gone through. I am trying a different product right now from good molecules, but, um, I would still recommend and go back to this one for sure. Okay, next is a Wander Beauty Dive In Moisturizer. It's a 72 hour hydration. I do not believe that claim. I did like this moisturizer. It's just kind of a plain moisturizer, which I like to use in the evening. So I do skin cycling with active ingredients in my serum. And then I just want a very basic moisturizer. I don't want any like retinol or vitamin C or any of that in my um, moisturizer. So I liked that this one was just plain. I liked that it was in a squeezy tube. I realized that it's now kind of like my preference or a pump. I don't really like the pots as much. Um, but 72 hour hydration, I don't know about that. Um, it definitely, you know, moisturized my skin overnight. But there were times where I felt like my skin um, in the deepest kind of coldest parts of winter really drank this up and I had to almost put on a second layer. So, um, yeah, this is, this is good. I don't know if I'd repurchase it though. I got this in like a look fantastic, uh, advent calendar box or something like that, or some sort of box. So I didn't pick this out specifically, but I was happy with it. So I don't really know if this is a fancy brand or what, but I don't know. I kind of am okay with drugstore moisturizers too, because I just look for something plain. Um, okay, this is not done. I have one more set in here, but I'm going to use it tonight. So we're going to call it as empty. This is the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. I really, really like this. So this container came with 60 patches or 30 pairs. I really love that they were not individually packaged because that's a lot to throw away. I just, no. Um, and that's a lot to store. Like this is easy and kind of contained kept this in the fridge and I've had this for probably, I don't use them very often because I forget, but I think I've had these probably like over a year, year and a half maybe. Um, so there is kind of like a second lid here and then there are gels. So I've got two left in there. They're clear. They work really well. Um, and I don't know, I, I find them really relaxing. I don't know if they actually you know, deep puff and firm and energize, but they definitely hydrate. They feel nice and I like them. So I have repurchased these. Um, my boyfriend and I both really enjoy them. I stick them in the fridge. That's kind of part of the reason why sometimes we forget because they're in the fridge, but then you open the fridge to get like your coffee cream in it and you're like, oh, I should, I just slap some of those on. So I um, really like these, definitely would recommend. And um, I think the price is good for 30 pairs. You know, that's, that's not too bad. Also from Good Molecules is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So this is just a plain Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Again, I do skin cycling, so I use this as my kind of recovery and hydration night serum. Um, so I use it probably like twice a week. I really like it. It's a dropper um, kind of mechanism. So I just do a dropper full, put it in my hands and spread it around. Um, and yeah, I really like it. It works, so you know, don't fix it, it's not broken. And then um, last uh, skincare product is an eye cream. This is from the Inculus. This is the retinol eye cream. 
I really like this too. So this is my evening eye cream. I use the like serum in the morning, the cream at night. Um, I want to think that this is helping like prevent, you know, lines and things of that nature. Can't prove it, but um, you know, I'm trying. I really like the consistency though. And I love that it's in a squeezy tube because I can get exactly how much I want. Not too much, too not too much, not too little. So that's awesome. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't go through a ton of eye cream at night. So a little bit lasts a long time for me. And um, I'm really happy with the the um, concentration. I mean, I guess I don't know exactly how much it is, but it didn't burn, didn't leave any sort of dryness around my eyes. None of that. So it must have been you know, just perfect for what I can tolerate. But definitely really like this. Already have repurchased. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to throw in a couple of stationary items. I finished up two pens. So one is my favorite. I love these Paper Mate uh, Ink Joy Gel 0.07s, the clicky ones. I have different colors going um, all the time. And then this one was a glitter gel pen, uh, the green one. So I visited um, my company headquarters goodness like last August I think and my boss got me a little like welcome gift and it included a pack of glitter gel pens and I finally finished one up I've got others going and it is kind of fun to use a glitter gel pen for work every day I mean not every day but you know throughout the week so I finished up the green one I've got a few others going wouldn't repurchase it's a little bit too skinny of like a container what do you call this part of the pen um like this one is a good I don't know, it feels good in my hand. This one felt skinny in my hand, but I still used it, you know? Okay, so there's the stationary stuff. I know some of you really love the stationary empties too, so I, I now will always include them. Also, something random, I finished a toothpaste. I normally don't put toothpaste in here, but I use the Sensodyne um, brand, you know, toothpaste uh, with the gum protection. So that's what I used, finished one up. And I have a couple of shower products here. So this is the Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea Moisturizing Body Wash. If you've been here for a while, seen empties for me before, you know that this is our preferred body wash in this household. My boyfriend and I both use it. The scent is really nice. It's neutral. It's clean. It's kind of warm, but it's not like overly feminine or masculine. And it also kind of dissipates easily. Um, and it doesn't interfere with any other like perfume or cologne or lotions or any of that. It's just very neutral. So this is what we love. I also love that it is very accessible. I can pick it up at my local grocery store. I live in the middle of nowhere. So it's not like I have to order to get this, which is nice. Um, so yeah, really love that. We go through probably one every five to six weeks, I think. Um, kind of depends on my boyfriend's travel schedule, if he's home or if he's away. But I'd say, you know, a little bit more than a month. Um, for a 15 ounce to last us. So it's not bad. Um, and that's also why it's nice because it's really inexpensive. So I don't like feel like I'm spending a million dollars in body wash. <laughs> also from the shower, I finished up a shampoo. This is the Nexus Therop Therap um, shampoo. It is, there's a lot of words on here. It says ultimate moisture, 0% silicones, protein fusion, um, I don't know. I really like it though. This works well for my hair. Um, and I love that it comes in a pump bottle. So this is empty. I did at the end kind of tip it over and try to get everything out that way. But I really like the pump because I know like how much my hair needs, um, like one or two or one and a half or all that. So it helps kind of make sure I don't get too much into my hand and use around. But, um, yeah, I like it. I just repurchased, um, this and the conditioner, Ulta does, you know, sales on like their leader sizes. So these are often included, which is great to get a little bit of a cheaper price, but this can also be found at Target, which is, you know, pretty accessible for me. So finish that up. Um, I did repurchase and then also another repurchase and an empty here, of course, but is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion. This is the unscented version. I like this. I also like the coconut one. Um, so this has been my favorite winter body lotion for a while. Highly, highly recommend. It's not um, greasy or oily. We've used other ones in the past that you could definitely like see it on your skin and feel the oil, which for some people and sometimes is nice, but like after a shower and I want to put clothes on, it makes it difficult where this I feel like actually absorbs into my body and keeps my skin soft, but doesn't feel sticky um, or greasy. So really, really like this. I did repurchase 
like three or four bottles of this um, because we keep, you know, a lotion in different places of the house. So now we have this kind of everywhere as our standard as we've finished up uh, some other ones that we were working through. So anyway, yes, love this. Definitely check it out. You can get it at Target. Um, I know my local Target used to carry it in store, but no longer does. But you can get it online and um, can't say enough good things. And it's a huge size. So like one of these by my bedside table, I can get through pretty much all of winter on one of these, which is awesome. So definitely recommend, have repurchased, suggest that you purchase. And that is it, my friends. So honestly, not too bad of an empties. I feel pretty good with what I finished up. And a lot of these are products that I really enjoy, which I'm happy with because that means that I've been able to cut out the crap and like fine tune what I'm using. And I kind of, my goal is to be an autopilot for a lot of the beauty products I use so that I just know like the body wash, this is what we use. Don't have to go looking for anything else. This works. Um, you know, on occasion I like to switch things up and try something different, but I also really like knowing these are the products. I don't have problems with them and I can think about, you know, other things and play with like nail polish or makeup or other things, but just kind of those basic toiletry skincare items. I'm very happy that I have it like honed in. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you finished anything exciting lately or, you know, products that take quite a while and you're excited about finishing them. Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.